Hello everyone, this is Oxhorn and this video is all about whether or not you should even attempt to rescue Sean. We're gonna be talking about the results of endgame decisions that contain significant plot spoilers. So if you don't want any spoilers, turn back now. You have been warned. And let's get to the spoiler right away. So as we all know, the young boy Sean that you meet in the game is not the real Sean. He is a child synth of the real Sean, who is of course, father. Father was abducted from the vault by Kellogg over 60 years ago. He grew up in the Institute, was brainwashed by the Institute to believe the way the Institute does, and he eventually took over as director of the Institute. One day, Father is bored and decides to release you from Vault 111 to, quote, see what will happen. As part of his experiment on you, he has his scientists create a child synth that has his own memories from his own childhood. He then gives this child synth to Kellogg, who takes the child synth of Sean to Diamond City, where he allows himself and the child to be seen by Diamond City residents to further make the sole survivor think that his or her child is still around and still alive, possibly to encourage you to keep looking for the real Sean. But once you find the real Sean, the synth Sean doesn't play much of a role in the game. He only has a role to play at the very end of the primary plotline. There are two possibilities with young synth Sean. If you decide to destroy the Institute with whatever faction you decided to side with. As you are leaving the Institute, you are given the option to either take young Synth Sean with you or to leave him behind. Something has happened to young Synth Sean because the Synth is calling you mother or father. Hey kid, why did you call me mom? What? You're my mother. Why else would I call you that? Who told you I was your mother? What do you mean? Nobody told me. You just are. <sighs> This is just what I need right now. I'm not a baby, and I'm old enough to take care of myself. The only help I need is to get out of here. Now can we please go? All right, you can come with me. You better not make me regret this. I'm glad you are here to save me. You can only find out what happened if you choose to save the synth. If you save him, you find him at the faction headquarters of whichever faction you sided with. He gives you a holotape from father. Hey, Sean. Dad, I was so worried. I thought I'd never see you again. As long as you don't leave me, it'll be okay. You're... you're not gonna leave me, right? Don't worry, kiddo. I'm here for you. Okay. Oh, before I forget, Father, uh, he told me to give this to you. I didn't listen to it, so I don't know what it says. But I think it's important. If you are hearing this, then whatever conflicts you and I have endured are over. I have no reason to believe that you'll honor the request I'm about to make. But I feel compelled to try anyway. This synth, this... boy, he deserves more. He has been reprogrammed to believe he is your son. It is my hope that you will take him with you. I would only ask that you give him a chance. A chance to be part of whatever future awaits. The Commonwealth. This seems like an uncharacteristically sentimental thing for Father to do, especially considering his frame of mind when you last meet him. You see him stricken by sickness in his bed, and every single dialogue option you have with him is drenched with animosity from your real son. It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? It's hard to believe I'm related to you. The only question left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? I wanted to see you one last time. Before your whole empire comes crashing down around you. Get out of here. And yet somehow, as you're running around the Institute getting ready to blow it up, Sean has the time to reprogram young synth Sean to think that the sole survivor is his real parent and to think that he is a real child. And Father has time to record this holotape asking you to quote, give him a chance. Now why would father do this, especially if he thinks that all synths are just machines? It's extremely sentimental for him to do this. If he really thought that young synth Sean was just a machine, and nothing more than a machine, he wouldn't care if the machine died with the Institute. 
You have the option to move Young Sean to any of your settlements if you have been building settlements with your settlement system. This is a great way to keep him closer to you because he does offer you quests. He'll ask you to collect a random piece of scrap, which he will then turn into a weapon Sean, mod. Hey mom, can you do something for me? Next time you're above ground, can you look for something? I want to try building some new stuff. I can really use an old telephone. They got all sorts of neat parts in them. I want to try and make something for you. If you do these scavenge quests four times with Sean, he rewards you with the Wazer Wifle, which, like the UP77 prototype, has the never-ending effect, which simply means that you never have to reload it. At a settlement, he can't really be interacted with beyond this. He can't be commanded to do a task, and he pretty much just stands in one spot. You can, however, use console commands to make him commandable. In this way, I was able to assign him to farming in my settlement and assign him to his own bed that he he actually sleeps in at night. The other option, of course, is to not rescue him, to allow him to die at the Institute. You're not going anywhere with me. You're not my son. Well, you can't just leave me here. I don't want to die. Please, just think about it for a second. Why should I? It's hard enough taking care of myself up there. I promise I won't get in the way, and I can take care of myself. You won't have to do anything. I can take care of myself. Just don't leave me here. You're not Sean. You're not Sean. You're a robot made to think you're real. You're just gonna leave me here? I can't believe it. I hate you! There is no ramification for this option. None of your companions hate you. You don't really get locked out of anything. You simply miss out on the ability to get the Wazer Wifle. Interestingly enough, if you side with the railroad, even if you choose to abandon Sean, Tinker Tom tells you that they're gonna save him and find a place for him to live. You're just gonna leave the kid here. Are you nuts? It's none of your damn business, Tom. Get this thing running. Okay, okay. Jeez. Look, I can't stand by and not do something. I'll make sure the kid gets somewhere safe, okay? So okay. siding with the railroad is the only way to rescue Sean while not having to deal with him at any of your settlements or faction headquarters. If you choose this option, he simply disappears from the game in the same way as if you were to leave him behind. But the story is that the railroad is finding some home for him since he is a synth. Now, if you sided with the Institute, you obviously don't have this moral decision to save the synth of your child or to let him die. Instead, you find him in the Institute. He gives you a holotape from Father, but this holotape is different from the one you get if you destroy the Institute. This is what it says. If you are hearing this, then the time has come. I am gone. I can no longer look after young Sean. I hope that you might be willing. He has been reprogrammed to believe he is your son. I hope that was not too presumptuous on my part. Both he and you deserve a chance to... to be a family. Please, take care of him. This is the most shocking of all, because in this gameplay, you sided with the Institute. You bought the argument that synths are just machines, that they do not have souls like humans, that when they exhibit the characteristics of souls and personalities, they are simply malfunctioning. But Father, the director of the Institute, whose DNA was used to create all synths, and is the greatest champion towards the ideal that they are machines to be used, ends this holotype by saying that you and the synth child that he made deserve to be a family. What? I could understand if Father was secretly a railroad agent, but I cannot understand him saying this as director of the Institute. You and this synth child I made of myself deserve to be a family? This one line is giving me cause to really doubt Father's motives as director of the Institute. The whole game, we believe that Father is a dyed-in-the-wool true believer of the Institute. He was raised by the Institute. He was brainwashed to believe the way the Institute believes. He rules the Institute like a tyrant and makes cold, heartless decisions leading to the deaths of many people, including his own neighbors. It was his decision to not turn on life support for all of the other pods in Vault 111, except for yours. He chose to only keep you alive. He let all your neighbors die simply because they were inconvenient. They were more loose ends. And yet this very guy is the guy asking you to take care of a mere machine. 
I kind of touched on this in a separate video on whether or not synths are people, but maybe Father is so full of himself and his research and what he has done with his life that all of this time he has genuinely thought in his heart of hearts that he was creating true life, not just machines. What if Father treated them like machines while director of the Institute because it was convenient, because it allowed him to tinker with their personalities and continue to work on them without raising any moral or ethical dilemmas, because he needed to do so to demonstrate his toughness as ruler of the Institute without revealing any sort of sentimental side to himself, which could compromise his position as director. But then as he gets older, he becomes a little bit more sentimental. He has lived this life in a clinical underground utopia where everyone calls him father, but he's never been able to know his own father or mother. He has one remaining parent trapped in Vault 111, and on a whim, he has that parent released. And then he creates a child synth that imitates his own genetic makeup when he himself was a child and has his own childhood memories because he knows that he is dying from cancer or some sort of other terminal illness. And his greatest regret is that he never had a true childhood with a loving parent. And so the very last thing he does on his deathbed is he begs you to adopt the little clone that he made of himself so that he can live on in some way in the little synth child that he made of himself and finally, at last, have the parent he always wanted. Our time together has been strange, hasn't it? I spent years wondering what you were like, thinking about all we missed out on. I want you to know that I'm grateful for the time we've had. Thank you. Mother, you've helped a boy achieve his dreams. I think... I think I'd like to sleep now. Some of the others were talking about dying, and how when a human dies, you can't just make another one. When people die, can they become synths? Does that make them alive again, or still gone? Both he and you deserve a chance to be a family. Please take care of him. I think it's clear that in this moment we see the regret of an old man who's had everything he's ever wanted except a loving mother, except a loving father. The morality then of this choice is tough because it really comes down to how you personally view synths. If you agree with father, at least what father has said up until this moment in the game, and you think that synths are just machines, then there really is no right and wrong decision here. If you save synth Sean, it's a neutral act. If you allow him to go down to the institute, it's a neutral act because he's basically just a chair that can talk. This kind of thinking works well if you sided with the Brotherhood of Steel. So for a true Brotherhood of Steel playthrough, I would say that the most moral decision would be to allow him to go down with the Institute. Because if you side with the Brotherhood, you truly do believe that synths are a manifestation of technology run amok. They have this almost fanatical view of technology where anything too advanced, anything too scary, anything too new just needs to be destroyed. It can't be harnessed for good. Its existence is wholly bad. So if you side with the Brotherhood of Steel, maybe the most moral option is to kill young Sean. That said, in my Brotherhood playthrough, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I killed Dance. I killed Dima. I couldn't kill Sean. <laughs> so maybe that makes me a hypocrite, but I just couldn't do it. The most materialistically beneficial choice, of course, is to save young Sean, because if you save him, you gain access to a weapon you otherwise wouldn't gain access to. This is going to be a good option for completionist players, players who really want to get everything in the game. It may also be a handy way of getting new weapon mods without specking high in gun nut or having to take them off of existing weapons. Every time you do a dungeon run, when you come back home, stop by Sean, get his little side quest, you're likely to have that junk item in your inventory anyway, give it to him really quickly, grab the new weapon mod, 
and then head out. But if you're not worried about materialism, and if you're not worried about fulfilling the values, for lack of a better word, of the Brotherhood of Steel, then I think the answer is pretty clear. If you view synths as more than just machines, even if you don't really want to elevate them to the role of person, then I do think it's morally wrong to allow young synth Sean to die in the Institute. That would make saving him a moral good. Letting him die because you're angry at father and you want revenge against father for all of the things he's done and so you kill his child synth simply because he wanted you to save it would be vengeful. It would be senseless revenge, which I believe is a moral evil. Letting him die because you can't be bothered to be a parent would be lazy. You would not only be actively destroying the personality or soul of a child, but you would be crushing the dreams of the only physical connection you have remaining to the pre-war world that you knew. You can't truly save your son. He was beyond rescue long ago. And aside from siding with the Institute, the last bit of love that you can show to your real flesh and blood son is to adopt this little boy that he created and give him a loving home. Are you leaving again? I like it when you're here. The others? They told me to stop worrying. They said you can't be killed. That you'd always come back to me. I just want you to know, I love you, Mom. But ladies and gentlemen, that is just one man's opinion. I would love to hear your opinion. What decision did you make in the game? Did you save young Sean or did you let him go down with the Institute? Do you like the fact that Bethesda added this option to the end of the game or do you find it an unnecessary burden? Or is it just not interesting to you? Let me know in the comments section below. I read all of the comments on my videos and I use your comments as inspiration for new content. Be sure to subscribe. I release a new video every single day of the week, so subscribe to find out what I publish tomorrow. If you like this video and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming one of my patrons on Patreon. Patreon subscribers gain access to my private Discord server, as well as a bunch of other cool Oxhorn perks. But as always, more than anything, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just so glad you're here watching. Thank you so very much for watching from the bottom of my heart, and I'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early with a brand new video.